So guys, what is going on? I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope everything is good in the hood. So guys, a lot of you have been questioning Terence Crawford. You've been questioning Terence Crawford resume. You've been questioning Terence Crawford. Oh, how good is Terence Crawford? You know, he's not fought anybody. Um, you know, he's not done much. And a lot of you question Terence Crawford. But you know what? Terence Crawford could hit the jackpot. I made a video about Terence Crawford the other day about 154 pounds. Like Terence Crawford could jump at a Charlo fight and look to become undisputed at 154. And I'm pretty sure T Charlo would take that fight just because I think it's a high profile. But let me say something else that could happen. And something else that Terence Crawford could, could win the lottery. Uh, Terence Crawford may end up not even having to work hard and may end up becoming undisputed welterweight champion. Here's how. Terence Crawford could wait out because I believe Manny Pacquiao is going to be reinstated as a WBA champion. I think they'll, they'll reinstate him, especially that he's fighting Spence. And I believe that that will make a three-belt a three belt holder. Whoever wins that fight will have three belts. Terence Crawford then is in prime position to fight the winner for the undisputed. And although I would, like, Spence is obviously the favourite going into Pacquiao. If Spence beats, or Spence or Pacquiao wins, you have to say Crawford has a good chance of beating either guy. By the way, I think if Pacquiao wins against uh, Spence, I do think Pacquiao momentum would be so high. I think he'd be in a great place. And same with Spence, by the way. And I would make both guys a favourite against Crawford. However, it was by no means... It would be by no means a shock if Terence Crawford beats either guy and he could become undisputed. So Terence Crawford's been sitting back all this time being criticised by the fans. But in a, in a moment, he can outdo Spence by beating him. Even though Spence has put in the work, Spence has worked very hard. Spence is, you know, he's been fighting the tougher opposition. But within one fight... Terence Crawford can become undisputed welterweight champion. Not having to go through the fights that Spence had had to go through and beat Spence and take everything from him. Just in one fight. So although a lot of people think Ter are feeling sorry for Terence and saying that Terence is this in this position, he could win the jackpot. by get if, Because that fight's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to be for the undisputed. You can't sit here and say that that fight's not going to happen because it will. Because Spence wants to be undisputed welterweight champion. And in order to be undisputed welterweight champion, he has to beat Terence Crawford. So, is Terence Crawford? Yes, people keep questioning his profile. But I actually think Terence Crawford may end up winning the jackpot. If he, especially if he beats Spence, which is a possibility. I know, for me, I think I would have Spence favourite. But by no means am I writing Crawford off to the stand. I actually think it's like a 60-40 fight, fight in front of you know, in Spence's favour, but by no means I don't think Crawford can beat Spence. Crawford can beat Spence. And if he does, my goodness, he's had it off. He becomes the undisputed welterweight champion. You know, without fighting the Danny Garcia, the Sean Porter, the Keith Thurman, he, he becomes undisputed. So when people say that, you know, Crawford's in this bad position, I disagree. I don't think he is. I don't think he is. I actually think he's not in a bad position at all. I actually think he could become undisputed welterweight champion. And like I said, without having to go through the fights that uh, Spencer's had to go through. So I know people feeling sorry for Crawford. Oh, he's not getting the fights. Well, Crawford, could, like I said, could win the jackpot without having to, without having to go through a lot of trouble like Spence. Because Crawford may get that fight straight after that, or the winner of that fight. Because the winner of that fight would want to become undisputed. I do think if Pacquiao wins, it'll be a lot easier to make. Because I don't think Pacquiao, although Pacquiao is going to want a bigger slice, I do think Terence Crawford will be willing to give Pacquiao the biggest slice. And he's not going to put up much of a fuss. I think if it's Spence, I just think because of the ego and the fact that I think it will be a lot harder to make. However, I do think that if I was Terence Crawford, I think he should put that ego to one side because he could win everything. Like everyone's been talking about his resume and this, that. And in one fight, he could just like shut everybody up. So 
Crawford, although people keep going on about oh, how bad a position and he's not getting, he's not in that bad a position at all. He's actually, in my opinion, in a very good position and he might even find himself in a position where he becomes undisputed welterweight champion because there's a lot of people that think Crawford beats Spence. This is what I'm saying, that I don't think Crawford is in as bad a position as what people make out. He could become the undisputed welterweight champion. Right? I don't think any of you, I don't think any of you would be shocked if Crawford beats either Pacquiao or Spence. And he'd only be one fight away from becoming undisputed welterweight champion. So basically, while all this time, like when Crawford fought at 140, Crawford beat like he became a unified champion, then he became undisputed. He fought on Dongo for the undisputed, which I do think his run at 140 was fairly weak. I don't think he had a tough run. I think some of the fighters there were quite, you know, but he did beat everyone quite convincingly. However, in one fight, which would probably define his career and probably be, it'd be his biggest fight and probably define Crawford, that one fight. But that one fight can make him undisputed without having to go through the trials and tribulations that someone like Spence had to go through. Because Spence had to fight your Porters, your Danny Garcias. He's had to fight those top welterweights. And now he's fighting Pacquiao. And if Pacquiao wins, same thing. Pacquiao's fought Thurman, Spence. And Crawford just gets an opportunity at the undisputed welterweight champion without having to go through the top welterweights. You know, Khan and Brook in their day were top welterweights, but they were past their best when he fought them and they weren't top welterweights when he fought them. So this is what I'm trying to say. Crawford can like jump the queue. Like Crawford's in a great position because if I was Crawford, I would probably look to fight a Josh Taylor because I don't think Josh Taylor beats Terence Crawford. Beat Josh Taylor and then... It's a, it's, it's a payday, it's a big fight, and you know, it, it gives him a, a, a fight, keeps him active, because he can't wait around, and then look to fight the winner of Spence Pacquiao for the undisputed. Crawford's in a fantastic position. He's in a fantastic position. I know people think, no, no, Crawford's in a really good position, because Crawford, if I was Crawford, you could fight Jam Jamel Charlo at 154. You could fight the winner of, of Pacquiao Spence. And if Pacquiao wins that fight, that fight between Crawford and, Pac and Pacquiao will be made like that. Especially with the fact that now that Crawford is, is in my opinion, I think he will probably leave Bob Arum and top rank. That fight will be very easily made. So Crawford isn't in as ba bad a position as what people think. And he has a chance to create history and legacy. Imagine if Crawford becomes undisputed at welterweight. I don't know whether, the, I don't think that's ever been done. A guy un becomes undisputed at two weight classes and he's not even going to, like I said, he's not going to have to go through the trials and tribulations. He's just going to have to have one tough fight. Spencer's had Danny Garcia, uh, Sean Porter, Mikey Garcia. I know Mikey was a smaller guy and now Pacquiao, right? Terence Crawford is just going to have one tough fight and he could win all the marbles at welterweight. He could be the undisputed welterweight champion. This is what I'm trying to say. He's actually not in a bad position. And by the way, he's been making good money along the way. Like he got paid well for fighting Calm, Brooke, Horn, all of those guys. So he could, for me, he could win the jackpot. Just in one single fight. He could define his legacy in one single fight. This is what people don't understand. That Crawford's not in that bad a position. 154 if he really wants to dare to be great. And, one, and, and 147. And I think that fight will be made. Because like I said. If Spence wants to become undisputed. He has to go through Crawford. If Pacquiao wants to be undisputed. He has to go through Crawford. So all roads lead to Terence Crawford. For you to become undisputed. So is Crawford in that bad a position? I don't think so. I think Crawford's sitting there now thinking, you know what, let me fight a Josh Taylor. Let me keep myself active. Let me, let me, let me get, that, get, get a payday. Then once my contract's up, become a free agent. The winner of Pacquiao Spence for the undisputed baby, it becomes a big fight. 
So Terence Crawford, although everybody thinks he's in a very bad situation, I'm not so sure. I think Terence Crawford is sitting there quietly with a smirk on his face thinking, all these guys saying I've got a bad resume, this, that and the other. Let the winner of Pacquiao and Spence and then we'll see what happens. Let me have a fight in, in between and then I'll fight Pacquiao Spence. And, and I know a lot of you say, oh, well, he doesn't want to fight Spence. Crawford will fight Pacquiao or Spence in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat, especially when he knows it's for the undisputed. I think Crawford is very confident he beats both guys. So Crawford, like I said, and most importantly, look at that run. Uh, even though it may not be right, Spence and Pacquiao have obviously put in a lot of legwork. Because if, if Pacquiao wins, he would have beaten Thurman and Spence. Probably arguably be two of the best welterweights. And then he'd fight Crawford. But if Crawford beats him, Crawford gets everything. He gets all the marbles. All the adulations. He becomes undisputed, baby. He's done everything. And this is what I'm trying to say. That Crawford's not in that bad a position as what people think. Because Crawford's been making a lot of money along the way as well. And then, that, then he's going to get that super fight. Because like I said, if you want to become undisputed and you have that ambition, all roads lead to Terence Crawford. And people may think it's wrong, it's not right, whatever, but the fact is, it's the truth. You want to become undisputed, all roads lead to Terence Crawford. So Crawford may be in a position where he may get the winner of Pacquiao Spence and, you know, he may be laughing. He may be laughing. You know, sometimes things play out the way they play out. Crawford may just have to fight one fight to become undisputed, while... Spence has been unifying and having tough fights. You know, Crawford may just have to have one fight and he could take everything away from Spence. Because let's be honest, let's get it right. There's a lot of people out there that think that Crawford beats both Pacquiao and Spence. So whoever wins that fight, there's going to be a lot of people thinking Crawford wins against either guy. And it would be seen as a 50-50 fight. This is what I'm trying to say that Terence Crawford is not in that bad a position from a legacy standpoint because if, like Pacquiao's a legend anyway, so even if Crawford was to beat Pacquiao and if Pacquiao was to beat Spence, it's not going to do any damage to Pacquiao's legacy because Pacquiao's got such a great, had a such a great, great career. But with Spence, oh my goodness, it would definitely hurt Spence's legacy if Spence was to beat Pacquiao because Crawford would have taken everything away from him. And he would be the guy that's been talked about because he's just beaten Spence. And that's why that fight would then basically, although Spence has put in all the, had all the hard fights and put in all the tough work, he could lose everything by losing to Crawford. And Crawford in one fight can be crowned king, whereas Spence has had to have so many fights. Do you see what I'm trying to say? This is why I think Crawford's not in a bad place right now. And this is why I think he should fight a Josh Taylor, wait for the winner of that fight. Because I believe that all roads lead to him. He's gonna have, they're going to have to fight him to become undisputed, the winner of that fight. And I believe both Spence and Pacquiao... I think Pacquiao, one million percent, would want to become undisputed. And that fight with Crawford would very, most definitely happen if he beats uh, Errol Spence. Because I think Pacquiao would want to do that. I think Pacquiao would want... And I think the only thing is with Spence is I think the negotiations could be a bit difficult. But if Spence really wants to become undisputed, I don't think it'd be a problem. It just depends on Spence's ambition and how badly he wants to become undisputed. So again, I don't think Crawford's in a bad position, but that's just my thoughts. Leave your thoughts. I'd love to know your opinion about this situation. Do you agree? Do you disagree with me? Leave your thoughts. Let me know what you think. And guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.